My favorite UI library just got an update that takes it to the next level, adding some new components. If you haven't heard of this one already, it's Shad UI, And in this video, I wanna show you those new components, some extra features of it. And also I want to show you a quick start guide on how you can get started with this just really briefly. So let's jump into what the new components are. Here you'll see it's got a really beautiful carousel component. This is where you can put your images and swipe through them. That's a really cool one. It's got a drawer component that this is really cool if you're building a web app that's primarily used by mobile because it's going to have that touch support and it's going to feel like a native experience to the user. This is really cool to have. And it, again, it's going to come with some really nice default styling. The other one's pagination. That was a pretty basic one that was missing. And resizable is another incredibly powerful one. So here you can see the user could come in here and resize the experience to suit them. And the last one is this nice toast component that comes with those default animations and you can hover over it and it will show you the history of them as well. We go up here, you can click into our examples and see something that's been built with it. They've essentially built out almost an entire email application using this component library. We can come in here, we can resize this. You'll see that all flows really fluid. We can go up here, we have a calendar, I look component. Everything that we could possibly need is in this component library. You can click into their examples. They have so many of them. And the best part is it's open source. Hit this GitHub icon up here. You can go in and see how this has all been built. The other really powerful thing is themes. So I'll show you a bit on how you use this later. You can come in here. You can customize the way it looks on a basic level. You could also just customize the CSS yourself, which I'll show you a bit later, because this is all it does is it gives you the CSS. And I'll show you how to use this in a minute. But first, let's get installing it. First thing you'd want to do is hit docs, installation, and select the one that's right for the framework of your choice. So I'm using Next.js, so I'm going to hit Next.js. Let's click the npx shadcn library. Let's click pmpm. So I'm going to want to copy that for the command line because I already have my project. If I go to my project, let's paste that in and hit enter. Now, briefly while this is going on, if you haven't heard of Shadzian UI like before, it's not actually a component library in the traditional sense. It's a collection of components that you copy and paste into your application. The benefit of this is that you own the code, so you have 100% ownership of the code and you can go in and change it. And you're not locked down to sort of hard to use APIs like Material UI or something like that, where if you want to make something really custom on top of it, it would be a little bit difficult. So here we're gonna hit, would you like to use TypeScript? Yes. I'm going to select default on this. If you go into the documentation and look at a component, you'll have an option for two styles, default and New York. I'm going to leave it as default. Base color, I'm going to leave it as slate as we'll change this later. My global CSS file is there. Yes, I want to use CSS variables. No, I don't need a prefix. My tailwind config is located there. I'm going to hit yes on the next two for defaults. Are you using React server components? I'm using Next.js, so the answer to that is going to be yes. And I would like to write my configuration there. All that's doing is essentially saving your answers. So when you run this command line later, it knows what you put there. And there we go, it's been installed. So let's get started using it. Head over back to the documentation, find that component that you wanna use. Again, there's loads of them. Here we're gonna hit button. I'm gonna to wanna to use this. We can see the code for an example of how that was used as well, right here in the documentation. And we're gonna to go to installation. As I said, you can do the manual way, which is install the component library it's using. So it's using Radix under the hood, which doesn't have any styles applied to it. And this applies styles on top of it. And then you'd copy and paste your code. I'm gonna use the command line because that's simple and really easy to do. So we copy that command, we paste that in, and it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna save this command and save the component into our components here. I've actually already done this. So here you'll see I've got that component UI and button. It's going to ask me if I want to overwrite that. So I'm going to click yes, just to make sure that we've got the latest code here. And what you'll see is when we go into here, you'll see that we have a component here and it's the complete component. We can go in and modify this ourselves, and you'll see all of the styling that's been used. This is built on top of Tailwind, of course, if that hasn't been mentioned already. And here you'll see you've got something like background primary. Now, this is where that theming comes in. That's really cool. So at the moment, if we look at our component, this is what I've built here. I've added that sauna component as well, which was that toast that I showed you. I go into my sub button, which is using both of these. So I'm using the button we just installed and that toast component. You'll see that I have a subscribe button. If we take a look at that now, it says subscribe like this to Jolly Coding, which I highly recommend you do. Please subscribe to me for more latest and greatest tutorials covering the web development space. But again, if we go back now to what it looked like and we go up to themes, let's say I wanted to change the look of that. So at the moment we've got that sort of white button. Let's say I wanted to change that to red to match sort of the YouTube color. So we can modify the theme to our heart's content here and it shows you the examples live updating here. 
We click copy code and you'll see we have this layer base and we copy that. Now all we need to do is go into our globals.css and what you'll see is this at layer base. You're going to want to delete all of this and paste in the code that you just copied. There we go and save that. And now when we go back to our component here, you'll see that it has the new color scheme telling you to subscribe. That's pretty much all I wanted to talk about on Shad CNUI. If you'd like a more in-depth tutorial, do leave a comment and let me know. Thank you very much for watching. 